Amazing colour. Finding clients that want something a little bit creative uh, can be challenging. Give me a second, let me just see whatever mods come in. If not, I'll just do whatever you want. Most of the time, the barber gives the client what they want, but whether they execute it in the same way, whether they have the same kind of uh, mentality or path where they will go to is another story. I think it's kind of trial and error, especially when you're doing the first client's hair for the first time. What's your name? Mike. I'm Mike T. Uh, it's a Again, it's a pretty good shape cut from last time, to be honest. It doesn't look uneven, it's grown out really nice. Do you like to brush it back like that way? Uh, Up and yeah, away? Sure it won't be it won't be like this length, it'll be obviously shorter than that. It's typical Caucasian hair where it's like per square centimetre, there's loads of it. Uh, but the cuticle is a little bit finer. If you layer it well, you can see already it's got some layers in there that are moving quite well in there at the moment. But I'm a, uh, for the first five minutes of this cut, I'm going to be taking down the length from the sides to assess how short I want it to go, basically. I'm using a three, and eventually I'll go down a bit shorter and shorter. I would say like 80% of the haircut is in my head because it's not super creative. I know exactly what it's gonna, what it should look like. But you know, I've never cut this gentleman's hair before. So, you know, I, I need to assess how the hair's falling. So I've just put a 0 0.5 line in. Punch my line in, now I'm just gonna fade it out. So that's come out lovely. And on the back I can afford to do a zero and then punch in the 0 0.5 and fade it out afterwards. I'm gonna to have to just work this part down here because where the gentleman's blow dried it, it's just sitting back a little bit, so I'm just gonna put it back in its original place. I'm gonna go around, punch in some hard lines, create my, my frame for my haircut. People will struggle around the years. So you've always got to pull them down to get around them. You've got to put the ear down, put the comb in, release the ear, and just swipe up. Try to imagine that the ear's not there. Keep on going through the hairline, tapering in at a right angle. Not too flat, otherwise you're going to eat into your clipper work. No, not too steep, otherwise you're not going to get any hair through the base of the comb. Just got to be at a right angle so enough hair comes through so it can be tapered. So as you can see, we faded out the sides and faded out the back, nice and short. And now we're gonna work on this area here. Instead of taking out this weight here with the clippers, making it shorter, what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna scissor over comb this hair here so it's just got a more softer feel. What I'm gonna do is just use my black comb here with the wider teeth, just run through very quickly to take the initial bulk off. And I'm gonna run through with my smaller comb. So my comb goes slow and my scissors snap fast. They open very wide and shut very quick. And it's great to see one hair slowly sit on top of the other and create a, a really nice gradual blend. I was trained with the scissors, so you know this is fundamental to me. I, you know, I didn't even pick up a bear clippers before I used my scissors, and that's why this is my go-to. So that's my scissor over comb work there, and this is the corner that I want to remove by layering it dry. It's much harder to cut on dry hair as opposed to wet hair because the wet hair enables the hair to stick and open and separate. Where dry hair, it, the hair just falls back where it wants to. So as you, you might be able to see there's a bit of a, a, a lump there, a bit of weight around there. So my aim is just to blend it in a bit better. Just 
separating the disconnection from the top part here, just re-establishing a new part in. So this is a pretty unique way of cutting the top. Most people usually stand at the back, but uh, because I want to over-direct it away with smooth precision, I'm just going to start from front. So this area here is disconnected, and then once you get to the back half here, it rolls into a connection and into the top. Cool, you can see how it's going to look already when we dry it off. It's going to look great. So because the hair is going away from the face, I like to stand in front of the client and then open my hands up and use it like a comb to brush through. You won't really want to get the product that's on the palm of the hand right at the front here. And then use again my fingers to come through. Cheers. No, thank you. Oh, looks so great. <laughs>